Pisces, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Pisces, this is an energy reading. It's not a horoscope. So this is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mercury, wherever Pisces energy influences your chart or influences your life. You can apply these themes and energies for the next week or so. There are no dates on the videos anymore because I realize people don't see them as relevant. So um, there is a new video every single week though. So subscribe to the channel and ring that bell so that you know as soon as I upload your favorite content, whichever sign you're looking for. Um, I do all 12 zodiac signs every single week. And I also always provide an extended to those readings if you want a deeper read, if you want to continue the, the message, if you want a more personalized message and more specifics, all of that is in the full tarot card spread that I pull in addition to the YouTube reading. And that link is below. It also includes a romance reading. All right, Pisces, let's get into your energy. Pisces, 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 Pisces. Okay, so time to heal. This is also feeling backed up against the wall by an ambush predator or a sense of trying to suss out the poison. This is kundalini energy, something stirring deep down inside and maybe the poison and toxin is already inside of you. This is this energy that could be poison if you let it seep out into yourself and you don't do something with it. However, if you do do something with it, it is life and vitality in and of itself. So this is where you stand right now, feeling the coiling, feeling the twist in your gut, feeling the coil get larger and larger and expand and expand. This is tremendous, beautiful, bestial energy. This is that kundalini energy that can create life, but also take it. This is you being, um, being, uh, completely wrapped up or inspired by all of that internal energy inside of you right now. Um, um, this is your attempt to do something with a hurt, uh, a suffering and a pain, um, because the, the ultimate meaning of this card is time to heal. This is turning that suffering and turning that pain into, um, a great piece of art or art in terms of life, uh, um, like use, use the pain. In other words, like that Kundalini energy, is it poison or is it power? Um, or are you getting poisoned by the power? Uh, you, how, how use that, use what you've been through and use the suffering and use that root guttural reaction to things as a means of exorcising the toxins and creating something beautiful from it so that is the energy that is crowning your reading reading pisces uh not really not light energy here 55 is change coming um uh, inevitable change coming um and everything is slipping out the back here everything's a little bit topsy-turvy to be honest with you the cards are behaving sort of on their own command so i'm wondering if something isn't about to burst out from inside of you um, do you have to suffer that much, Pisces? Do you have to? Is the suffering necessary? Or are you just inviting in more suffering to sort of distract you from the real suffering, which is owning the conflict, recognizing the conflict, looking it in the eye, and then doing something with it? Act as if you're pretending this is energy of five as well. Pretending that things have changed, pretending that things are going well um, uh, when it's really not. Sort of blending in and trying to go with the mode, go with the time. Um, also look in a way that seems like things are working out or things are things are okay when they're not. This is a sense of uh, your truth um, slowly being revealed even when you're trying to let it not be revealed this is a sense of trying to suspend time and not move anything forward because it, it, it's safer but yet it's chipping it feels safer to not confront it and yet <clears throat> you feel it's chipping away at you you feel your your real self or your true self slowly being exposed without um with without your permission um act as if and time to heal uh fake it till you make it essentially 
making a decision, a very risky decision, taking a huge high stakes bet that you can, um, you know, roll with the big guys or do something that's particularly dangerous for you emotionally, which is um, continue to pretend like everything is okay when it's not. Uh, take time out, defensiveness, maybe being a bear to people, maybe being very irritable, not getting enough rest, not being able to rest as much as you need to. And this energy drain on you is now bringing out a course of action from you, a different treatment from you, a sense of, um, a sense of defensiveness or aggressiveness that you haven't really had before, because that's the only way that you can emotionally react to what's happening inside of you right now. This slow and steady unraveling and crumbling this is a sense of uh, wanting to be seen but at the same time not allowing yourself to be seen try like playing the part fitting into what you need to be instead of what you are a sense of real healing that needs to come through and a protective energy that will come basically barreling through your door if you don't open the door for it and force you to heal but it will be painful um this could also be an energy of being protective. No, you're protecting and defending this poison. You're acting like everything is okay and it's not. Uh, lay a solid foundation. This has to do with love and relationships and the structure and cornerstones of, the, of those relationships. You are working very, very hard to make your relationships work. And I think that you're fooling yourself thinking that if you keep working all by yourself, you can take care of everything and continue to ignore the fact that everything is not as strong or doing as much work as you are. Um, but you are definitely trying to now use, use what you're going through, I think, to... Um, this is Virgo energy. Rooting the future, planning the future, depending on it, relying on it, focusing particularly on the home space or It's interesting because it's like you're you're focusing on laying this laying this foundation for the two of you or for your future but ignoring what really is the solid foundation which is the emotional stability. Time to let go. But you're not letting go. You're holding on. You, 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 <clears throat> this is stuck in the underworld. Um, you're, you're, you're continuing to grapple and stay and insist and allow your heart to get nibbled on and eat. And it's almost like you're eating your own heart out. Or you're dealing with somebody who is eating your heart out. And this is the collapse of the underworld. This is this is when when you when when you decide to um, pretend like it's not happening. See, it's like lay a solid foundation and then not letting go, or making a decision to hold on to something, even if it doesn't want to be held on to. See the big picture. Two plus nine uh, is is eleven. So awakening, awakening to your future. Defending with all your might something that matters to you beyond anything. Pisces, not letting it go and refusing to let it go. And even if things are rough or things are bad, deciding it doesn't matter that they can be rough and they can be bad. This is letting down your defenses. Letting down your defenses, making yourself be like allowing yourself to be vulnerable and the miracles are endless. The expectation that you're going to be selected, you're going to be chosen. This is the energy of six as well. So love, 
four plus eight is 12. This is three, a balance in love. Um, looking toward the future with somebody. I understand. 44, a really solid foundation here, foundational energy of reclaiming your power, seeing the power inside of yourself, seeing the future. It's almost like you don't care if you stand out at this point. What you care about is making something work. That's, that's what's going on. Let spirit be your guide, seeing things objectively. This is also five. Something is changing here. It's like a shift in your priorities. It's like they've shifted from you to somebody else. Maybe, Pisces, somebody new has become your passion. They've become your passion. They've become your future. And protecting that connection at all costs. I don't know. You're aggressively defending something that you've decided to make a long-term commitment to you're throwing all your passions in and you're even you're even you're even painting it with this this everything is beautiful everything is perfect um you're it's almost like you're protecting the poison sack Life is a mystery. Um, this is destiny, eight, the energy of eight. But something is hidden, something is masked. You're pretending. Deciding to not see or deciding to let your higher mind or higher intuition not see. Surrender now. Like a moth to a flame, you're just diving in deep. It's almost like... I'm Energy of three. I, I can say this right now. You want to crash and burn. You want to go, you want to go directly in something completely all in. You'd rather burn because you don't, you're, you're refusing to turn back. Even if it is bad for you, it doesn't matter. Even if things are, are tough or are difficult or are struggling and you feel like you're being sucked under, you've made a decision that you're not giving up. Be peace. This is energy of three. Um, which is which is balanced divinity creation. This is make your dreams real, awakening, awakening to what really matters to you. And finding it in you to commit at all costs. You could be dealing with somebody who is finally making this decision to you, toward you. But you are definitely, there is definitely um, hiding how protective and defensive you're being or hiding just how much work you're putting in trying to make it seem like you're doing something and it doesn't take much work at all. Like trying to disguise how much work you're putting into this, making it look like it's nothing, but it's a lot. And I think it's a lot emotionally as well. It's not only that you're doing a, 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 a crazy amount of work, but, but you're emotionally having to deal with a lot lying beneath the surface, struggling emotionally to not be scared, struggling emotionally to not give up. Uh, your heart is breaking inside, but no, you're not struggling to not show it. Why? Because what is most important is getting this thing up and running, getting the show on the road, making this relationship work, whatever it is, it's your commitment to this long term and you're laying yourself open and it's almost like you're, you're the sacrifice because it's like not even about your happiness anymore. It's just about your bringing something to life. Sort of being this emissary for, um, enlightenment and peace maybe in the world but 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 no it's a sense of um offering yourself up as the sacrifice in order to allow something new to start intense energy hold on i want to flip the camera pisces what i can say is this is an absolute refusal 
to give in or allow anything to happen that is not exactly what you've decided is going to happen is important to you. This is like, oh, what is this energy? Oh, wow. Look at this. Now this makes more sense. It's like you're trying to reconcile two different extreme sides of yourself, the creator and the, the, um, it's like the creator and the child, the need and the want. This has been building in you a long time. You've been working at this a long time, brick by brick, little by little. It's like, I've been working on this for too long to give up now. Regardless of what else I have to give, you're just going to throw yourself right in. It doesn't, it, to you, it really doesn't matter if it costs you your life. That's how much you're committed. This is obsession. I mean, I'll tell you this right now. It's the kind of obsession that either brings about great change and something greatness, or it brings about complete ruination. And that's where you are. Because you're not going to give up no matter how much it hurts. And you're still planning for the future, leaving, your, leaving yourself wide open and vulnerable. Finding a sense of power in this mask that you wear in the public. Because underneath, you know that you're not as brave as you pretend to be. But you're becoming... It's like you're becoming your Sasha Fierce. You know, if you ever heard Beyonce describe, she invented Sasha Fierce to help her, like an, as an alter ego, to sort of help her um, be comfortable not being with Destiny's Child anymore, not, not, not having other people up there on stage with her. So she invented this alter ego. This is almost like your alter ego. It's your alter ego that's ready to crash and burn. To prove something to the world, to show something to people. Because you've come too far to give up now. Let's see what the future holds. Let's see what's coming and let's get more details. Also go into your love specific reading. Uh, the extended link is below. I'll see you guys over there.